The purpose of this video is to show the outcome of the instructable Internet of Things fun with Node-RED. So first let's run through the, the hardware that we've got. Um, first there's a Raspberry Pi and this is the Model 3A but any other of the Pis could, 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 be, could be used. Uh, it's connected to, a, to an LED and it's connected by these two um, wires to this uh, near pixel string behind. Uh, it's also connected by internet, uh, so, but, but by, by Wi-Fi to a laptop which is serving a local um, network and these two phones are also connected onto that Wi-Fi network so, um, so everything here is connected. So let's uh, log on to the Pi fr from this phone and, and, uh, and see what web page is presented. So I put a link on, the, on my desktop just to make it easy to, to get started. And there are two pages, uh, one <coughs> uh, showing, showing switch and another one, if we swipe across, uh, it's got some controls for some colour pickers. We'll come back to those in a moment. So first we'll operate the switch and the switch is connected to several things as you will see in a moment. So first, switch it on. Switch has changed to on. And you'll notice that as well as the LED coming on, we've also got a message saying the switch has been turned on. And if I click it again... The switch has changed to off. It's been changed off. Now the other thing it's connected to is is email. So if I just close this down now and go into my Gmail account, you'll see that there's got here message from Road from Node Red, and there are actually two messages here. And the first one is the switch has been changed to on, and the switch has been changed to off. So this shows the power of Node Red to send emails that are going outside the local network and could be picked up with with whoever's got that email address. So let's just close that down, get back into, into a node red fun. Now then, uh, what we're going to do now is uh, go on to the colour picker, but just to show that how things are, are connected, let's just uh, start up this other phone, which was also now got um, connected. And um, what we can do now is use the colour picker and control the um, the near pixel string. So, so, so this first colour picker does does four four LEDs. The next one does four more. Let me make that slightly more yellow. And then we'll put a green on the next lot, and we can put a a blue on the on the next lot. Okay. Now the other thing that you'll you will notice is that anything we do on this phone gets uh, appears also on this one. So if I change the first block to white by clicking in the middle, it changes the uh, the, the near pixels, but also the display here changes. And uh, I mean, maybe that's easier if we just go to go back to the switch that, that we had. So if I turn the switch, switch the LED on. Come on. The switch has changed to on. The switch, the switch has changed to off. Sorry, I didn't. Let me just do that again. Right. The switch has changed to on. The switch has changed to on. So both phones have been are, 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 are telling us the switch has been turned beyond, and the switch here has been has been switched to on. And needless to say, I can. The switch has changed to off. I can turn it off there, to and off. and then it goes off there, and um, there's no problem with different devices logging on to, on to different pages. So we'll leave that one um, controlling the, 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 this. So those are the emails coming through. Um, this one here now is controlling the the, um, the, 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 the uh, near pixel strings. And this one here the switch has is, 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 the, the uh, near pixel strings. Or, or alternatively, we can go back to this one. This one can be controlling the the, the LEDs and again you know, as soon as we change something on here as well as it being implemented it gets duplicated on there so, so that shows I hope some of the power of, um, of, of Node-RED it's a humongously powerful system and it can do one hell of a lot more than when we're showing here um, it can connect to external devices um, using a 
protocol called MQTT, so it can be switching on television, switching lights on and off. Um, it can also link to the internet, and I've, you know, I've used it to set up an internet radio system, an MP3 player, um, that also can be linked into your home automation system, so that can turn your radio on and off, and, and goodness knows what else. So the the limits are, are pretty boundless. Anyway, I hope this gives, inspires you to give Node-RED a go and start exploring some of the, the wonderful things that Node-RED can do. And that's another email just coming through. So anyway, thank you very much indeed.